Hello, it is Barry Roxas here. Today I'll be doing another servant review. This time it will be Ozzy, Mandis, or Ramis II. He is in Rider class and he's a 5 star servant. He first appears during the Camelot Gacha. He has 3 arts card and 5 quick for hits. So he has 2 arts and 2 buster. That's pretty good. And he is sort of like a hybrid between a support and attacker. We say he hit arts is to help him fill his MP gauge. His buster is for attacking. His first passive skill is Magic Resistant B. This basically makes him resistance against the buff by 17.5. And his second passive is Riding A+. That basically makes his quick card even higher by 11%. And his first skill is Divine Lily B, which increases damage by 175. Now both Divine and Riding are traits. Some servants has strong skills that has deal more damage against writing and divine for some servants. His first skill is is in a party buff. Basically it just increases all your allies attack for three turns and it's 18%. There are probably others that has higher buff than him which is 20% even more. His second skill is Imperial Privilege A, which recovers his own HP. He has 60% of increasing his own attack for free turns, and 60% to increase his own defense for free turns. So level 1 will be 20%, and level 10 will be 40%. Usually, most of the Servants having attack, it's usually 50%, but 40% is also okay. And he also has a chance for getting defense too. His first skill is Protection of Raw A. So this basically just fill up your party's MP gauge by 20%. And you also you can increase your party's buff by 40% at level 10. So basically, like some buffs needs something for buff success rate. For example, this one has 60%. So you want to have something to make it have more chance to use the skill additional buff. So this is where this protection raw A plus comes from. His Nova Phantasm is a single target and it also can have the target get the buff with defense down for free turns. So it has 20% of them getting defense down at level 1 MP, and at MP5, it'll be 60%. Or you have to like charge it to over gauge. Like at MP1 it'll be 100, if you have an MP2 then you will have to fill with order to get 200%. And then for this one, if you have MP5 with 100%. And for 400 and 500, you will need to do an MP chain in order to get 500% one. Or use that craft essence, which makes your over gauge higher. So, locking down your opponent's no phantasm is a great skill since you don't want your opponent to use no phantasm that often. Since it usually kills all your allies, so we want to lock it for one turn. Like, so then you can heal or add some defense first. His Bond CE basically increases the entire party arts performance card by 10% and the Buster for 10%. So he's sort of like a hybrid between arts and Buster. 
For the Crevices, I recommend would be Holy Night Dinner. This basically helps them start with MP 30% and 50% when you limit break it. So this basically helps with his Phantasm damage and also has his crit, crit damage by 15%. So his crit cards are kind of great so you can use this to help him use his no offense as a faster because it starts with 50% when you want to break it. And having critical damage is quite great too. Dragonman of 2030, this basically just helps him have like more critical stars for each turn. So this one is very great if you have a party member that has this for him. The next craft sense will be Joint Recital. This basically helps him with his Buster card and critical damage. So this is a free craft essence you can get in the event, so we can use this one if we don't have the other ones. This craft essence basically just helps you with money. So you can get more QP for money. It's because he's a rider, so he'll be very good at farming money. So most people will probably have him as a support having Wally's at with a limit break so he can drop by 10%. So basically you just want to use this for farming QP. This is another crab essence you can get from an event and it basically increases his critical damage and by his no phantasm damage too. Except you don't start with like 30% and 50% like Holy Night Dinner. So basically if you want to go more offensive and not start with MP gauge then you probably want to use this instead of Holy Night Dinner. And this is another one, which you can get from the Gachan. This basically just increases their Buster card by 10% and Critical Attack Damage by 20%. Number Break it will be 50% and 25%. So this is basically Buster and Crit. And the last one I will say with Origin of Bullet. This basically helps against Rider, so he will deal more damage against Caster Colossus. So it will be 35% against caster enemies. I mean, Lumber Brigade will be 40%. So this basically makes his attack damage very high, and he will do a high amount of damage against caster. So this craft sense is good for alter egos and also casters. I mean, riders. But you can use it on caster too if you want to use caster versus caster though. For his party member, I will recommend Gilgamesh because he can basically has a uh, attack buff and he can generate stars quite easily with his normal attack cards. So he's really great for getting crits and generating some stars. You could use others like Jack the Ripper. Like you can use Jack to generate critical stars with your passive skill, which is presents consume an A+, plus, which generate critical start by 10.5. Now you can heal for basically a buster buff, since you can heal and give buster to an ally, but Merlin's probably the better choice still. This is an alternative one. You can run two of him, and then you can give him the attack buff and the buster buff to uh, Ozzy, and he can deal more damage in his buster cards and also get more crit damage too since that skill increases buster and crit damage which is hero creation ex increases one ally's buster card by three turns and max hp for three turns and also ally's crit damage for one turn which is pretty good and the last one will be waiver i cover him quite often already so he basically just fills up your mp gauge and some buffs For Ozzy, you can pretty much use him in any team. You can use her, either use him as a support or you can use him as an attacker. He can deal crit damage quite often and he can survive quite a long time. You can use his MP to MP seal your opponent too. So he's sort of like an all rounder and he's also rated as 9.5 in at media. As you can see right here, he's rated as 9.5 beside J Alter. And you can basically see Marilyn and Waver, they're 10 because they're support types and they can survive long battles too. He's there because he's very balanced and can do boss fights. 
like boss rush when you're fighting all servants. <laughs> 